Oh, I'm being attacked by something that's <laughs> pointless, no doubt. There we go. They're all dead already. Chop chop. We're all decked out to the hilt now. Which will be good because we're off to uh, towards Baldur's Gate now. Well, there's two, there's two or three uh, more areas with several minor um, minor quests in them, which we'll do, and then we're into Baldur's Gate. And um, this is where I, 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 I have no idea what I'm doing in Baldur's Gate because there's so much to do in Baldur's Gate. So you might think that because we've uncovered all this and we've only got like that little bit to do that um, you know we might be might be um, you know maybe three quarters of the way through the game but we're not because there's so much to do in Baldur's Gate it's insane anyway Berigost yeah there's also the the cloak um, quest that I can turn in but I can't for the life of me remember um, where the guy is that gave me it. Also, if we head to the jovial juggler, we get a we get a reputation point, which puts us onto eleven. The difference between ten and eleven is very minor indeed. Um, I didn't. Cool. That's what I thought of. I didn't sell that or that, but I'll do it. Oh, I'll go and do it, the smithy. I'll go and do that now. For With everyone. Then when we're done here, which won't take long, we'll have a bit of a rest. Check our mage spells. Um, that all looks pretty good. Although haste, yeah, I want haste. So I'm going to get rid of a fire arrow and have haste. I like slow as well, so I might... In fact, you've got a wand of fire, haven't you? Yes, you do. So I'm going to get rid of skull trap and have a slow as well. That would be very useful in fights. Why has everyone stopped? Why have you stopped over there, Viconia? Bye, Viconia. Zai, you're looking very nice in your gold and your red and your black. Even if you do get lost walking into a building. Hurry it along, Viconia. You look ridiculous, by the way, in your pink and green with that feather coming out of your helmet. Yeah, M1, for example. Um, do you really don't think that well, the decision mind to make her would bring the girl along, as you have? Poor M1. While she has her functions, we're not in the mind they are truly worth the trouble of her. Then again, I acknowledge that I am drow and think differently from you. What is the reasoning, Varex? Why do you take the girl along? At the start of Baldur's Gate 2, Varex has quite a lot of disdain for Imuin. My plan in this LP was to have the influence primarily of Shatil, but also of Viconia, um, to sway me against Imuin a little bit, so uh, Varex becomes a little bit more more uncaring and sway starts swaying towards evil, um, which is how he ends up. The Chartil romance, if you can call it that, has had one talk with like them sleeping together and that was it. I don't know whether moral happened, I don't know whether there's an event that has to be triggered, I don't know if I have to rest more or you know a certain number of days have to pass or whatever, but currently that's just not happening. Um, so I've got to have Variax just be a little less concerned about Imwen. So she's like a sister to me. I don't know why I do take her along. Maybe you know what? Why is she there? She's she's annoying. She's whiny. Um, maybe I'm kind of sucking up to Viconia a bit because she is like uh, Variax might have a lot of respect for her, and um, in my Baldur's Gate two. They, they they do get it they do get together, those two. So Um She's not well she's an old friend. I I'm, I'm thinking about an old friend or I don't know why I take her along. I very much doubt that either of these will make any difference whatsoever because it's it's a mod induced banter. Um 
I don't know why I do take her a long way. So you see the foolishness of your ways. Truly, I actually can see why you might bear fondness for the child, but it's a uh, more of a liability. Perhaps you should. Alright, I'll think on it. It changes nothing. The start of Baldur's Gate 2, um, he really doesn't have any time for M1 whatsoever. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Which isn't nice, but. Alright, need to sell that and that to you. 12 grand, nice, nice. I don't think we have anything else at all that we could want from you. Um. Except maybe a dagger of venom. I'm 90 gold short of buying that. <laughs> because if we go and get that wiring head, uh, sell it to that guy at the temple, that's two grand more. Hmm. The dagger of venom is useless, though, to us. I mean, six. Yeah, okay, so it's a good dagger. Six points per round for 15 damage. So it does 15 damage over time. Um, but it's a dagger, you know? I mean, come on. Only Imwen and Zai use daggers and they're never going to get in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, so I'm going to leave that. But there is a... a longbow at the inn, which I'm going to get from Minsk. I think it's about three grand or something like that, so I'm going to get the longbow plus one from Minsk. Once I turn this uh, wire and head in, I'm going to get some experience for it. I'll head down to Officer Vi as well and uh, get that reputation point. Because she heads back to um, Baldur's Gate, so maybe like if I if I uh, do that quest, um, talk to her, then she'll she'll appear in Baldur's Gate and help us at some point. I'm not sure. I've already made some friend in Baldur's Gate already, though, because we saved those people from the Merchants League. There you go, two thousand gold for your troubles. Um, so they're there to to assist us. Oh yeah, and I remember from last time that uh, that guy has no uh, healing potions whatsoever for us. He has some uh, elixirs of health, but that's it. Alright, now I'm going to save because this is where it crashed last time for whatever reason. I don't know why. So we'll just throw down a save here. Is that Sword of Minsk's green? It is, isn't it? That's so neat. Now I'll just head back to Burgost. Have a quick... S just go to the Jubble Jugglier and talk to Officer Vi. As I say, I, I cannot remember at all where the uh, I got the cloak quest from. But I think because you get that quest so early, it's really going to be like a piddling uh, reward for, for turning it in. He might even take the cloak off me though. I don't believe he does because I think I remember having it um, in Baldur's Gate from another Let's Play. Well, not Let's Play, but playthrough. So, um, but even so, I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother. It'll be fine. Go in then. Who's not... Who the hell are you? You better not be Viconia. No, it's Minsk. With your fancy green sword. Green, bluey hue to it. I like it. Also, didn't, didn't I give... Oh, I did. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I thought that helmet that he had on was uh, was the magical one because it's so, uh, so gold and glowy. Right, Officer Vi, where are you? I'm sure this portrait's Kate Beckinsale. Now I'll look around here for that guy. Oh yeah, sorry, I've read this before, so I am... Um, yeah, we get a... Is that him? Stop. That's him. Excellent. Oh, put that thing away, you damn fool. I'm bleeding tourist attraction around here now. There's money in that. Um, keep the damn clock and good riddance. Good, because I forgot to save. 300 experience for that. Yeah. But, you know, it's, um, it's another quest that's completed. Alright, now we're going to head over to Feldepost Inn, we're going to rest, and we're going to buy this magical longbow from Minsk. He rarely uses it, but we've got the cash. There's nothing else outside of Baldur's Gate we want to buy. There's the Dagger of Venom, and there's a few things that the guy at High Hedge has, I keep forgetting his name. 
I didn't even know it to start with really. Um, but we don't we don't need like the the claw or whatever it was because it does something evil. I don't like items with negative effects. 